You can pick up a guitar and play a chord on it. Anybody, have you ever picked up a guitar and just strummed it? You can do that, right? But to make music, ah, that's different, <clears throat> is it not? And the guitar, it doesn't know any different. It's just an instrument, right? But believe me, when somebody that knows how to play it picks it up, it sings, it comes to life. Well, I want to talk about acting in the same <clears throat> vernacular. This is your instrument. This is what you play. Think about it. Whether, I don't care what media you're in, the story comes to life through this. Your voice, your body, and your emotional inner life. That's it. So, are we going to be virtuosos? Or are we going to be ABC? But then somebody that feels the music plays it. And those are the ones that are at the top of every musical profession. Because they put their feeling into the music and we know the difference. Why? <clears throat> because all audiences are perfect and everything, and everything you, you do reads. reads. That's it. Getting this is step one. That's why we start every class with the warm-up. To get the vocal energy going, get the body going, and get it attached to emotion. And man, you can tell. I, when I came over and, and, I mean, I felt it. It was like a magnet. Put my arm around your shoulder and then, you know, we're both there. It's that. We need to call on that. When you can cry on cue, when you can do rage on cue, when you can do any fucking emotion you want because your body goes, hey, I'm here. And then we got to learn how to read a musical score called a script. These authors do the best they can. They have a, a picture in their mind, and they can hear the dialogue, and they've rewritten every line of the script over and over and over and over and again to make it come across as the story, to distill it. The best scripts are the simplest scripts, and they just get it across, but it's up to the actors to put the emotion in it, to say it the way it's supposed to be said. What keys all behavior is emotional truth. You can add the behavior, but if the feeling isn't there, it's just like the music. It's just not as full and it's not as good, and they're going to find somebody else who can bring it. The foundation of good acting, which this course is called the foundation, is emotional truth and that's what leads to good behavior. We have to feel our way to a great performance. We must believe the circumstances that we're creating. That's why this control over this instrument is so important because it will do whatever you tell it to do. We have to get this out of the way and get it engaged in a way that the body believes it. I just came off my play and for six times every night I had to be in tears. And if there was ever a test of what I've been trained to do, that was it. And it was there every freaking night. You just got to get to the point where you trust it, and it can be there. Because most of the scripts we do, even in some comedies, are characters in crisis, yes? So they're extreme emotion and sometimes extreme physical behavior, and that's what we're about. So the warm-up, the physical exercises that we do, are extremely important. Think of it as two separate types or parts of your class. We used to do, and at one point in time, and I argued about this with myself, I implemented a personal monologue. And the personal monologue was assigned to everyone. It was non-negotiable. You had to do it. And we wanted you to talk about something you've never told anybody in your life. And that basically assumed that it was something you were either <clears throat> holding as a secret, ashamed of, traumatic, um, a horrible thing. Why do we want to do this? Do I want to torture you and pull wings off your flies? No. Because you're tied to it emotionally and some of you need to break through emotionally. But what we're going to do is we're going to put you in a chair there, we're going to turn the lights down and you're going to talk. I want you to go look at the handout and see the characterization exercise. Let your body talk, and don't overthink it. We're going to just let you get up there and create a statue, and then we're going to make the statue move, and then we're going to make the statue walk. And it's an exercise in how to create character because it starts with a walk and a talk. This can't get in your way. 
It has to dictate, however, how you approach a subject that is, is very, very tough to describe in linear terms. Okay? So it can be your best friend or your worst enemy. It can be in your way or it can help facilitate. And what we want to get is everything working together to the same end. Um, so that's pretty much it. Characterization, exercise, personal monologue, and we talked about what we do in class, and I think that's all I got. Thank you for listening. Let's get to work.